On a field in Morningside Heights, a wash in blue and white, more than 60 student athletes are not only preparing for their next game, they're also rebuilding a once proud program. Lots of the older kids when I was a freshman didn't want to be playing football anymore. They were ready to quit. Lots of kids actually did quit. It kind of sucked to come here every day, practice, and know it would be like futile, you know, end up losing. It was rough to, you know, I went 0-10 my freshman year. It was a lot of questioning if this was the right thing to do. <laughs> I think personally as players, we don't really like to talk about it that much. This is kind of like the dark days. Those dark days were only a few short seasons ago before nine-time Ivy League champion Al Bagnoli took the reins. Let's go. Go to work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In 2015, following a brief retirement, Bagnoli moved from the University of Pennsylvania to Columbia and turned a program that hadn't won a game in over two seasons into a 6-0 powerhouse this year. Did you think the turnaround would happen this quickly? Yeah, I mean, I didn't put a timetable on it. You know, I, I knew there was going to have to be a process in place. I wanted to just show improvement from year to year. That's been my goal, really. So that first year, we won two, which was an improvement over the year before. We won three last year. We played in four or five really close games that we could have won. We just weren't quite mature enough or good enough to win. And now we're seeing that, you know, we went from three to six, and we'll see how far we can take it. How far is still to be determined. But as of now, the Lions have already guaranteed their first winning season since 1996. And the seniors realize just how special this is. Did you think this ever could be possible? My freshman year, no. I would have probably laughed at you. Um, but once Coach Bagnoli came here, kind of everything changed. I think just knowing where we've been and seeing all the work that we've put in to get the position get to the position we're in today, I think it's been huge. You know, our seniors, when we got here, they were in the midst of a 20-plus game losing streak. And they weren't having any fun at all. So not only not having fun, but they weren't having success. So to see where they've gone to from where they started from, it, it, it's just been awesome. That work not only includes continuing their undefeated season, but their quest to win Columbia's first Ivy League title since 1961. It's been exciting, real exciting to see the change in campus, especially. You know, you went from last year wearing a Columbia shirt, you know, people being, oh, he's a football player. And now this year, all of a sudden, it's, oh, wow, he's a football player. Like, way to go, good job, 6-0, like, way to start. You know, no matter who we play or how close it is, there's a chance we can always win. So it's just whatever shred of hope we have, we're going to hold on to it as long as we can. Columbia's here, and we're here to stay. Um, you know, we've been the cellar dwellers of the Ivy League for the last 50 years, and that's not the case anymore. My end of, end of the season has a ring on my finger. You know, hopefully we'll make that happen.